Hello, everybody, and welcome to our third through fifth grade uh, award ceremony and, and celebration. Uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us, uh, students in your classroom, parents at home or at work. Uh, thank you guys very much for taking the time to be here. Uh, I know this is a little different than what we have normally done in the past for an awards banquet, but we wanted to make sure we took some time uh, to acknowledge some of the, the great accomplishments that our students have had this year. Uh, we are going to be running a format uh, where we're going to be kind of passing the mic, as we would say, to the, all the different WebEx channels, uh, and each one of our teachers will have uh, some information that, that they'll be sharing and, and some students that we'll be recognizing. Uh, to start us off, we're going to try to keep this as much as normal as we can. Uh, we normally would start with our national anthem, and we will do the same right now. I'm <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this award ceremony underway. Uh, the first person that I'd like to, uh, to, uh, to bring to our attention uh, is Mrs. Willikuski, who will be sharing some of our music awards. Mrs. Willikuski, it's all yours. Hello, third through fifth graders. Um, first of all, I'd like to share a video that Mr. Allison's class did. So uh, first of all, and again, I wanna thank all the kids for hanging with me as I was on a cart for part of the year, and then I had a room for part of the year. And so we were very lucky to get some ukuleles. And um, Mr. Allison's class uh, did a song with the ukuleles, although we couldn't sing at that time. So I'm playing the melody of the song on the piano. Mr. Campman, I'm not able to share though. My share button is not active. I will so if it does okay. Otherwise, I can just go to my awards as well. Oh, there we go. All right. So I hope you enjoy it. They did a great job. Keep going here. And here is Mr. Allison's fifth grade playing the ukuleles to a song called Everybody Loves Saturday Night. <laughs> so they were thanking the Everest Foundation because we were able to get the ukuleles through a grant that we wrote. So onward to our music awards. 
I have awards for third, fourth, and fifth grade, and my awards for, were for outstanding leadership, dedication, and musicianship. I'm going to start with third grade. Our first winner is Grace Brecky. Grace Brecky. Olive Rentmeester. Cameron Rice and Zach Gast. Those are our third grade recipients. Nice work. Okay, for fourth grade, Bentley Walters, Sophia Cronebush, Lila Catterhenry, Isaac Wagner. Good job, fourth grade. Woohoo! And last but not least, little drum roll. Our fifth graders are Troy Crone, Will Bayer, Haley White, and Aubrey Hubbard. So congratulations to all of you. You did a great job. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mrs. Willikuski. Uh, next, we will have the Art Awards. Ms. Lathan. Hello. So for third grade, I have Izzy with the Andy Warhol Award. Izzy with the Andy Goldsworthy Award. Betsy with the Claude Monet Award. And Grace with the Audrey Matisse Award. For fourth grade, I have Lily with the Georgia O'Keeffe Award. Michaela with the Thomas Gold Award. Drake with the Wassily Kandinsky Award and Matthew with a Leonardo da Vinci Award. Nice job, fourth grade. In fifth grade, I have Isla with the Yayoi Kusama Award, Alice with the Salvador Dali Award, Bear with the William Addison Dwiggins Award, and Andrew with the Pablo Picasso Award. Thank you very much, um, third through fifth grade, with dealing with me being on a cart. Perfect, thank you, Nathan. Uh, next, we have Mr. Colross with our physical fitness awards. Hey guys, um, before I give out um, the awards, and they're not necessarily physical fitness, just FIED awards for outstanding performance in physical education. But before I get to that, I just want to thank all the teachers who helped uh, put on the track meets this week. It was just um, an amazing week. I think um, under the circumstances, kind of being a uh, the COVID year. It was really cool to see all the kids out there having a great time. Today's meet, fifth grade meet, was was outstanding. So um, thank you all the teachers for all your help. Uh, for our third grade awards, we have two boys, two girls. Third grade boys, Charles Gadorzi and Ezra Boodle. Third grade girls, Quinlan Pagel. Maybe it's Pagel. I, she always yells at me when I say it wrong. Uh, Evelyn Crone, <laughs> congratulations. Our fourth grade winners, Dominic Luchwager and Jackson Heil for boys and girls, Ava Gissel and Lola Strobel. Congratulations. Our fifth grade winners, boys, Caleb Bame and Andrew Bankston. Girls, Anya Klauk and Ellie Meyer. Congratulations to all the winners. Perfect, thank you, Mr. Carl Ross. So like I said at the beginning, we've we, it's been a challenging year, but we've done our best to try to keep things as normal as we possibly could. Um, and Mr. Graff uh, is going to have our Spelling Bee Awards for us next. Uh, we had to do Spelling Bee a little different than we than we did before. And for those parents that joined us and saw us kind of all spread out across a multi-purpose room, uh, it was challenging, but we made it work. Mr. Graff. Super, thank you, Mr. Cameron. Um, and I would also like to start out by thanking the people who helped me put on the spelling bee. Uh, Mr. Cameron did a great job as our head judge. Always appreciate that. And I appreciate all the help getting the room set up from Mr. Wolf, Mr. Dunai, and Mr. Alexson's help with the uh, sound system. Very much appreciated. And I also would like to congratulate all the students who participated in the spelling bee. Um, it's not easy to stand up in front of a group of people and try to spell words. It's not easy and it takes a lot of courage. So I give all of our participants a lot of credit. So I'm gonna start off with our third grade participants this year. We had Olive Rentmeester, Sophia Verbsky, Landry Golden, Ray Mua, Ethan Doyle, Josiah Vang, 
Marshall Peterson. And I should mention Easton Peterson from third grade, who was our winner. So congratulations, third graders. From fourth grade, Eli Traska, Raina Langben, Annalise Daniels, Owen Van Vuren, Kai Giesendorfer, Lena Fraza, Brendan Blanchett, and Jordan Yang. And from fifth grade, we had Anna McKiskey, Shayla Shaley DeMuth, Macy Rentmeester, Landon Wiersba, Jonathan Gutowski, Bella Verbsky, Jaden Primno, Burke Eberhardy, and Sydney Cole. And congratulations to Croy Crone, who was our first place winner of the Spelling Bee this year. So again, congratulations to all of our participants. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Graham. Uh, I would also like to echo, I think just getting up in front of uh, your class and do, just doing that class Spelling Bee, let alone getting in front of um, a WebEx audience of who knows who's out there watching you, uh, I appreciate the students' bravery and, and uh, they all did a fantastic job. All right, coming up next, we have our annual science fair, Mr. Hughes. All right, thank you, Mr. Cameron and Mr. Graff. Uh, this year, Riverside celebrated its 19th annual science fair. It almost didn't happen, but we pulled it off and we did have over 50 students participate this year. Um, they participated and presented to their homerooms and to their grade levels. So it was awesome to see. Um, at this time, we're not going to read through all of the participants, but they did all receive medals and they also received commemorative photos um, of that event. So right now, I would like all of the students that did participate in our science fair to stand up so we can recognize them. So in your classes, go ahead and stand up. Let's give them a hand. All right, thank you. We're going to keep moving right into a couple other um, different categories. We're going to go and talk about the fifth grade math league next. Um, each year, the fifth graders participate in a national math competition. And this year, we are recognizing the top two from each fifth grade classroom. So starting with Mr. Hughes's classroom, um, I would like to recognize our top two and that they were uh, Zeke Divjak and Emma Brittenham. All right, for my homeroom, I had Henry Powers and Max Grabco. While Mr. Alexson is getting ready, I will do my winner. Um, Mrs. Thornton. I'm ready. Class. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm here. All right, in my class, I had a four way tie. Um, and that was Mackay, Bryn Krieger, Alexis Stelzer, and Sophie Stewart. Congratulations. I'd like to congratulate the winners for Mrs. Large's class. It would be Ava Meyer and Max Middlestead. Congratulations. All right, from Ms. Hankey's class, we have four. We have Shaylee Demuth, Caleb Haymauer, Benjamin Mavis, and Mark McKitsey. Yeah. All right, thank you. That moves us into our next award, which is the Million Words Reading Club. Mrs. Lorge, did we have anyone that made the Million Words Reading Club this year? 
We have winners from fifth, fourth, and third grade this year. So Miss Barry is going to start with her classroom. All right. So for my classroom, I have Calvin Olafson with. 1,506,070 words. And I have Henry Powers with 1,168,608. Hello. Hello. I had two readers reach the 1 million word goal, and that was Bella Verbsky and Bryn Krieger. In my class, I'm actually gonna have winners for the million word club, the two million word club, and the three million word club, reading that many words just this school year. Um, Ashan, I'd like to congratulate you with 1 million. 10,347 words. Congratulations. Hold on. Alexis Moser with 1,106,733 words. Liliana Hyrens with 1,305,462 words. Xander Shellen had 1,556,139. And Emma Lakey, congratulations with 1,710,442. Just a hair under 2 million, I have Haley White with 1,941,675 words. Moving into the 2 million word club, we have Troy Crone with 2,098,573. Ava Meyer with a whopping 2,325,869. Congratulations. Liam Gogger at 2,532,373. I have Macy Rentmeister at 2,973,880. And then moving into the 3 million word club for this school year, I have Anne. At 3,331,390. Congratulations. And at a high score at 3,694,051. Kaylee Simple, congratulations. That is a lot of books read in this class. Congratulations. Sorry to butt in, but I also had Makai Plow with uh, a million. Clue. Makai also took a bunch of AR tests right at the end of the year and read all the Harry Potter books. So great job, Makai. All right, in Ms. Hankey's class, we have Shaylee Demuth with 2,708,183 words. Alice Feltz with 2,302,225 words. We have Kenna Goff with 1,991,819 words. We have Mark McKitsey with 1,308,831. Ashlyn Ziske with 1,659,432 words. We have Anna McKitsey with 4,297,802 words. And our top reader for the year was Benjamin Mavis with 11,968,771 words for the year. Now, Ben has also been part of AR for a while. Um, from the time that he started AR, he has read over 21 million words. His, his total score right now for word count is 21,764,671 words. So congratulations to all of our readers. All right, from Mrs. Bolden's classroom, uh, with 1,021,259 words is Lola Strobel, and with 2,743,078 words is Brendan Blanchett. Congratulations, guys.
And from Camp Lakey, we have two students that made it to the Million Word Club. And those students are Reed Williams and Grace Lakey. All right, and in Ms. Thompson's class, we have five students. We have Eli Traska with 1,105,388. We have Leah Sturm with 1,112,206. We have Emma Comfer with 1,151,628. Lily Krause Bauman with 1,139,087. And our top scorer this year, just shy of 2 million, is Hannah Cunningham with 1,928,660. And in third grade, we have Ezra Boodle, who read 1,131,000 words. We have Bruno Barsotti, who read 1,270,740 words. We had Madison Stuland that read 1,261,523 words. We had Grayson Stasny that read 1,372,000 1, words. Um, just shy of 2 million, we had Jay Benal Gray read 1,736,443. We had Olive Rentmeester, just shy of 2 million, read 1,742,132. And our top reader this year read 2,458,061 words, and that is Zoe Gates. Way to go, third grade. I think it's impressive just the fact that we have people that have read a million words, but I think what impresses me the most is the number of kids that we have reading over 1 million words uh, and you don't get to a, a million words read unless you have a love for reading. Uh, so thank you teachers uh, for, for encouraging and, and, and pro providing that love of reading and students uh, keep reading. That is awesome. You guys great job. All right, moving on next, uh, we are going to continue with with some of our clubs that we had this year. Uh, once again, this year, we were not able to do our traditional after school clubs, um, but our teachers found creative ways to still create some clubs that happened here at school during the school day. Mr. Hughes, can you go over some of the clubs that we had? Be glad to. Thanks, Mr. Campman. Uh, the first club I'd like to uh, recognizes the ornithology club. They take care of our riverside birds and our bird feeders outside, and they miss a lot of recess uh, doing that. So our ornithology club for a group of fifth graders, and I'm just gonna ask them to stand up. Uh, Bella and Lexi Maliska, Emma Brittenham, Julia Heckendorf, Aubrey Hubbard, Jabez Dewey, and Landon Weir's club. Oh, yeah. All right, so thank you to our ornithology club. The next club that I'd like to recognize was were our chess grand masters club. It started out this year during this pandemic that we decided we'd try to give all the fifth graders an opportunity to learn a lifelong sport. And yes, chess has become quite a sport. Our students logged in well over 2000 hours in chesskids.com. And we got together each Monday night for about two months to have a virtual chess club. And then we had a quarterly tournament um, every quarter, and I'd like to recognize all of those students. So let's go through that. Um, our chess finalists for quarter one were Mark McKitsey, Chris Ferrario, Kyan Slowakowski, and Barrett Palmer. Quarter two were Jabez Dewey, Henry Powers, Garrett Palmer, and Mark McKitsey. Quarter three, we had Dane Felch, Christian Ka. Garrett Palmer and Mark McKitsey. And quarter four, the tournament that we just got done with, we actually finished today at lunchtime. The finalists were Kenneth Goff, 
Mark McKitsey, Dane Belch, Jonathan Gatowski. Now at lunch today, I witnessed along with several students and some other teachers an outstanding chess match for the for the Grand Master Award of fifth grade, and that was between Dane Felt and Mark McKitsey, and it was a battle that lasted almost 40 minutes. And in the end, um, Mark McKitsey was victorious in a very, very hard fought game. So I would like to congratulate Mark McKitsey as our fifth grade Grand Master. And here is his trophy. So congratulations, Mark. All right. Lots of excitement around chess in fifth grade this year, which was awesome. Um, the last club that I'd like to just mention was our Riverside Hydroponics Club. Uh, two years ago, our science committee wrote a grant and we received almost $4,000 for, for a hydroponics station to keep here at Riverside. And uh, this year we grew um, one successful crop of lettuce and a near successful crop of strawberries. Um, we started them a little late, so we sent home the strawberry plants to get planted in people's gardens. But it was really exciting for this group. And they took care of the water quality, the water level, did measuring of our pH and many other different things. Um, and they were even interviewed by a local reporter, so that was really cool. Um, our hydroponics club this year that gave up a lot of time were Jonathan Gatowski, Chris Ferrario, Jabez Dewey, Dane Felch, Karsten German, Lexi and Jala Maliska, Emma Brittenham, Julia Heckendorf, and Aubrey Hubbard. So they can stand up to be recognized as well. All right, thank you, Mr. Catman. It was a great year, and we're going to pass it over to Mr. Potowaltz to discuss the Peyton's Promise Advocates. Hello, Riverside. So every year we select um, a few, it varies by how many we choose each year, um, but we choose Peyton Promise Advocates who help with um, collecting the food for the food drive and doing the cereal drive, helping the community to collect food for the hungry. And so this year, I am happy to award some achievement certificates to people becoming advocates for next year. That will be Adeline Landwehr, Emma Comfer, Elizabeth Brown, Macy Parker, Bentley Walters, Lola Strobel, and usually I'm only choosing fourth graders to go into fifth grade, um, but I did have a fifth grader apply to go into sixth grade. And so for a middle school advocate, we will have Macy Redmeister representing the Blue Jays up at the middle school. So thank you all for your service heart, and I look forward to helping the community with you guys. Thank you, Mr. Potowaltz. Um, I would also just to, like to acknowledge um, our Peyton's Promise helped put together some different uh, drives that we did here at school. If you guys remember, right around Thanksgiving time, uh, we did a food collection for our local food pantries. All the food that was donated by Riverside families stayed here within our community, uh, which I think is fantastic. But I have something to show you. I don't even know if I can fit it in the whole screen here. Uh, we received this large trophy uh, on behalf of Peyton's Promise Hunt Down Hunger. Uh, Riverside Elementary collected 1,875 items of food, which put us as the largest uh, donation from any of the schools um, in the local area. Uh, it's the second time that we've won uh, this award. Uh, it's important for us to remember to always give back to our community. Uh, we're very fortunate. And uh, I appreciate our students who are able to contribute and, and help out others. Uh, not to mention just this, we recently just did a uh, cereal box donation. Um, that also will stay here within our local community. Uh, and our students uh, participated in a, a little domino as we stacked up all of the uh, cereal boxes and knocked those down. All right, our next uh, service award is our blessings in a backpack. This is Eaton. Hi. 
I would like to present the next award for outstanding service. These two students help deliver our blessings in a backpack every week, totaling over 1,728 deliveries. They worked happily and quickly on this delivery service and still made it back in class in time to complete their work without falling behind. So our service award for blessings in a backpack this year goes to Jonathan Henriksen and Napoleon Casper. Wonderful, congratulations, you guys. All right, this next award, we actually have a little surprise. We have students down here in my office, but they don't know why they're here. Do you guys know why you're here? They don't know why they're here. I'm gonna turn it over here to Mr. Cole Ross. All right, um, I am here to present the Forrest Gage Memorial Award. Forrest was a student here at Riverside, um, and when Forrest was in eighth grade, he collapsed and died unexpectedly while running track at DC Everest. Um, because of the kind of person that Forrest was, his legacy lives on forever here at Riverside. Uh, he loved sports. In particular, he had a passion for running, soccer, and basketball. He also loved the outdoors and was an avid hunter and fisherman. Um, although Forrest was very competitive, like many of the students we have here today, he was always a good sport and a friend to everyone. Forrest overcame many challenges in life, but always had a smile on his face and an unforgettable laugh. He lived life to the fullest every day, and he continues to be a great example of the kind of character we want all our Riverside students to have. So this year, we have two very deserving award winners of the Forrest Gage Memorial Award. They will get their name on the plaque uh, that will stay in the gym forever. And they also, Get a certificate and a t-shirt uh, and bag. So our first winner is Liliana Heinrichs. Congratulations. And our second winner is Logan Zander. Logan, congratulations. All right, congratulations you two. And, uh, I don't know what's next. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Cole Ross, and congratulations, students. That is uh, a very honorable award uh, to receive. Um, we are going to be wrapping up our award ceremony here. Um, the last two things that we have, um, I will kind of introduce. The first one is just staff recognition. Um, normally, we take this time and acknowledge our students who are retiring uh, or our teachers who are retiring. But I want to first start by acknowledging all of our teachers. Uh, this has been uh, a very challenging year, and I am greatly appreciative of their flexibility, their creativity, uh, and their willingness to overcome obstacles this year. Um, also, I'd like to give a thank you not only to our teachers, our school board, um, our, our administration, all the planning that went in to make sure that we were able to keep our school doors open all year long, um, and not just survive, but really we thrived this year and our students made gains uh, and had some outstanding accomplishments. So very proud to be an Evergreen uh, and thank you to all of you. Now, as a special acknowledgement of our retirees, uh, we have three teachers um, who will be, who are retiring uh, from Riverside this year. Uh, we have Mrs. Moore and Mrs. Moore, um, was an art teacher here at Riverside for many, many years. This past year, she has taught uh, in uh, the EVA uh, and took on the fifth grade class there. Uh, so special thank you uh, to Mrs. Moore. We will miss you. Uh, we have Miss Jensen. Miss Jensen has worked in our food service for the past seven years, making sure that our students are well fed every day. So thank you very much, Miss Jensen. Wish you the best in your retirement. And finally, Mrs. Rosowitz, uh, who retired at the very beginning of this year and has pursued a different career at this time. Mrs. Rosowitz, we wish you the very best as well. Uh, in addition, uh, we have two teachers who have uh, made the decision to resign um, to be with their families. So we'd like to uh, recognize Mrs. Uh, Wasleski and also Mrs. Dembowski. Uh, both have been with us for a number of years. Uh, we will miss you greatly here. This year, we also had the opportunity to bring in many teachers on a one year contract or staff on a one year uh, contract. Um, 
this year couldn't have happened without the support of these individuals. And as we start hiring, I'm hoping we're able to get many of these people back for future years. But a special thank you to Mrs. Leach, Mrs. Lilly, Mrs. Gage, Ms. Flesky, Mrs. Lemke, Ms. Zeller, Ms. Naya in the kitchen, Ms. Cantors, and Ms. Hanke. Uh, we appreciate all of your help and support in making this a successful year. So thank you, everyone. And finally, Mrs. Lorge has a fifth grade farewell that she is going to share. Mrs. Lorge, I will pass the ball to you. Thank you. Um, thank you for those kind words, Mr. Chapman. Um, a lot of what I was going to say. This has been an amazing year. Um, when we started, I was assured we're going to shut down, we're going to close, and we didn't. We stayed open um, the entire year. Um, I was nervous coming back this year, and I didn't need to be. These kids were amazing. Um, all of the concerns and worries we had melted away when we saw their faces here at school. Um, their resilience, the way that they have overcome, the bravery that they have shown us over this past year um, brings tears to my eyes by their strength. And I know this fifth grade class is going to do amazing things. Nothing will slow them down. Nothing will stop them. Literally a global pandemic um, won't get in their way. I will miss them greatly. Uh, one of the blessings that came out of this year was our small class sizes. We had uh, anywhere from 12 to 17 kids in our class. And um, the closeness, the way we were able to know them and relate to them and respond to them um, is something I will never forget. So through all of the trials and tribulations, I honestly believe this is one of the best years of teaching I've ever had. One of the best groups of kids I have ever had the pleasure of spending the year with. Parents that are out there, thank you for sharing your kids with us. Um, students that are out there, it has truly been a blessing. Uh, thank you for an amazing year. And uh, good luck at the middle school. We will miss you. All right, thank you, Mrs. Lorge. And with that, I'm gonna to turn to teachers. Any last thing before we wrap up uh, the end here? With that, I want to thank uh, all of our students for an outstanding school year. Thank you parents for taking the time out of your day to be here today. Uh, this award ceremony was recorded, and we will share it out with those parents that were not able to be in attendance. So thank you so much, guys. Ha hope you have a fantastic and safe summer, and look forward to seeing many of you guys back here at Riverside next year. Thank you, everybody.